Audiobook Academy Biography Presents. Guglielmo Marconi. Guglielmo Marconi, a Nobel Prize winning physicist and inventor, invented the first effective radio communication system through his experiments in wireless telegraphy. As a physicist and inventor who won the Nobel Prize, Guglielmo Marconi laid the groundwork for all subsequent radio technology. Marconi's wireless telegraphy efforts led to the development of the first effective radio communication system. As early as 1899, Marconi formed the Marconi Telegraph Company. In 1901, he proved that the Earth's curvature did not impede transmission by successfully sending wireless signals over the Atlantic Ocean. Marconi received the Nobel Prize in Physics with Karl Braun in 1909. In 1937, he died in Rome, Italy. Early Childhood and Education Guglielmo Marconi was an Italian scientist and inventor who was born on April 25, 1874, in Bologna, Italy, into a well-to-do family and received most of his education at home. As a student at the Livorno Technical Institute in 1894, he began experimenting with radio waves. He was able to construct a basic wireless telegraphy system by incorporating the earlier scientific work of Heinrich Hertz and Oliver Lodge in electromagnetic radiation. Even though he wasn't an expert in the field, Marconi was able to pull together the proper people to invest in wireless technology. In 1897, he was granted his first patent in the United Kingdom. Outstanding Achievement and a Nobel Prize Created in 1899, the London-based Marconi Telegraph Company was founded by Nicola Marconi. A communication broadcast by Marconi from Cornwall, England, to a military base in Newfoundland went only a mile and a half before it was intercepted on December 12, 1901. In his experiment, he established that the Earth's curvature had no effect on transmission. From Glossé Bay in Nova Scotia, Canada, to Clifton, Ireland, Marconi's trials began in 1902. During the year of 1909, Marconi and Carl Braun shared the Nobel Prize in Physics. A few days later, the Titanic's crew utilized Marconi's wireless system to call for help. During World War I, Marconi served as a lieutenant in the Italian Army and Navy, rising to the rank of naval captain at the end of the conflict. He traveled to the United States and France on diplomatic business. After World War II, Marconi began experimenting with shortwave radio. His research on the beam system for long-distance communication took place on his beloved boat Elettra in the 1920s. Microwave transmission would be the next step. The British government accepted Marconi's beam method for international communication in 1926. Furthermore, Marconi had a key role in the establishment of the British Broadcasting Company which was created in 1922 as a result of his revolutionary wireless communication research. Among other things, he was a pioneer in the field of radar. Death in later life. On July 20, 1937, Marconi died of heart failure in Rome, where he had been working on a radio project. While some of his patents may have been invalidated by the Supreme Court in 1943, others, such as those belonging to Oliver Lodge and Nikola Tesla before his conclusions, were reinstated as a result. Aside from being unable to claim credit for their work, Marconi's claim that he was the first to establish radio transmission was unaffected by the court's verdict. Private life. He married Beatrice O'Brien in 1905, the daughter of Edward Dunn O'Brien, 14th Baron in Chiquin. Before their marriage was cancelled in 1927, he and Beatrice had three children, a son, Giulio, and two daughters, Degna and Gioia. He married Countess Bessie Scali of Rome in the same year, and they had a daughter. A litera, named after the yacht he sailed on. Cycling, motoring, and hunting were among Marconi's favorite pastimes when he had time off from work. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button for more content like this. See you in next video.